Hey, what's going on everybody? So last month I got tagged by fellow YouTuber Yusuf al -Senid. Really nice guy. He tagged me to do this 2016 movie tag that relates to the movies I've seen this year. Now, I haven't seen very many movies this year, but I'll do my best to answer these questions. So without further ado, let's get this thing rolling, shall we? The first question is, what movie have I seen multiple times? Now, I've seen Deadpool multiple times as well as Zootopia. I reviewed Deadpool months ago. Uh, I really loved it. I think it's about as good as it gets as far as, you know, really fun comic book movies. I didn't review Zootopia, but I love it. I love Zootopia. It's my favorite film of 2016 so far. Just a brilliant animated film. I love it. The second question is what movie is the worst movie I've seen this year? And to me, that's a toss up between Dirty Grandpa and the do-over. You have Dirty Grandpa, which is a sex comedy starring Robert De Niro and Zac Efron. And then the do-over is the latest Adam Sandler movie with David Spade. Both movies are absolutely vulgar, not funny, and just flat out vile. Pretty stinky too. Third question is, what's a movie that I didn't hate, but that really needed to be improved and worked on? And that would definitely be Batman v Superman. This film, now I don't hate it like a lot of people do, but I do think it was very messy, convoluted. A lot of the plot points and motives just don't make any sense. And I really don't like what they're doing with Superman. They turn him into this really brood and selfish prick. That ain't Superman to me. And I feel like Zack Snyder and Goyer and the rest of the screenwriters don't really fully grasp who some of these characters are. Ben Affleck, and Jeremy Irons, I thought, really delivered really good performances. And I did like Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. The visuals are really good as well. Some of the action sequences are really good too. Um, Jesse Eisenberg and and the character of Doomsday and all that kind of stuff. I, it's, it's not very good, honestly. The fourth question is, what's a movie that wasn't released theatrically, but I thought was a good movie? And I seen Hush on... Netflix back in April, and I thought it was a good little horror film that had good acting, good tension, and I thought it was overall just a, nothing mind-blowing or anything like that, but it was a good little horror film. I really dug it. The fifth question is a TV show that I've liked as much as some of the movies I've seen, basically, you know, my favorite TV show this year, and I really loved American Crime this year. It's the second season. Uh, John Ridley is the creator of the series. You know, he, he wrote 12 Years a Slave. He's a really good screenwriter. And I really, I'm really digging this show, American Crime. It's an anthology series, so each season has a different story, different subject matter, different topics, all that stuff. Timothy Hutton and uh, Felicity Huffman are really good in both seasons. Yeah, season two was really, really good. Now, the sixth question is, any movies that I've seen in advance. I haven't seen any advanced screenings or anything like that, so I guess I'll have to skip that one. The seventh question is about a movie that, that's been getting a lot of hate, but I didn't totally mind, and that would be High Rise, which stars Tom Hiddleston, has a great supporting cast. It's directed by Ben Wheatley. It's based on J.G. Ballard's novel of the same name. Now, I never read any of J.G. Ballard's stuff. I have heard of him before because David Cronenberg did an adaptation of one of his books called Crash. I love Crash. It stars James Spader. It's one of Cronenberg's more underrated films. I highly recommend it. Anyway, it was a high rise. It's a very surreal. It's about the class systems, about society and all that stuff. Um, it's very surreal. It's, uh, it's, it's really out there. I can understand people not liking it. But uh, I don't really understand people giving it zero stars or two out of ten or saying it's one of the worst films I've ever seen. I can't really see that because it's well acted, great cast, it's visually stunning, it has a great score. So yeah, I don't really see, you know, two out of ten or anything like that. But yeah, it, I, it's not mind blowing or I, I just think it's okay. It's an okay film. I didn't mind at all. Okay, so the final question. Question number eight. What remaining movie am I most looking forward to this year? And for me, I have quite a few. Doctor Strange, Assassin's Creed, I'm also looking forward to Jason Bourne, 
I'm a huge fan of the Bourne series. Bourne Ultimatum is one of my favorite action films ever. And yeah, Matt Damon and Paul Greengrass are reunited and it feels so good. And then as far as indie films go, you know, the movies I was talking about before are, you know, more blockbustery type films. As far as indie films go, I'm really looking forward to Nate Parker's The Birth of a Nation about Nat Turner. I can't wait to see that. I'm also really, really looking forward to Jim Jarmusch's Patterson star and Adam Driver. I'm a big, big Jim Jarmusch fan, and I'm also a big fan of Adam Driver, too. So I can't wait to see both of those films as well. Well, my friends, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Yusuf, for tagging me. This was a very fun video to make. And yeah, thank you all for watching and have a great day.